Minority-owned businesses are having a really tough time getting their hands on those small business loans. And one city councilwoman we spoke with says this pandemic is only showing the gap in the loan assistance system, both locally and nationally. Our Eleni Dow explains what business owners are experiencing. We're going to try our best to stay open. We've heard that line a lot through this pandemic. It's the reality of so many business owners right now. Shawnee Wright owns Rightway Beauty Supply, giving African-American women a place to shop for their hair needs. We're kind of losing hope, and I've applied for, I think, five grants. And I've received word back from two that I did not get selected, and then... I haven't heard back from any of the other ones. Wright is only one of many other businesses owned by a minority who feel like they can't get any money. Nationally, one analyst says 90% of those businesses don't stand a chance at getting that money. What was said on the national stage and what is actually happening here, I thought we were going to be included. And maybe that was the intent, but we weren't. City Council member Betsy Wilkerson is hearing from those business owners not being able to get the money they need to stay afloat. Well, the challenge is they're getting all this legal stuff thrown at them. They're feeling really pressured. And many are operating alone. You're a small business. You don't have your own legal team. You don't have your own accounting team where you can just pass this off and they do it for you. But that doesn't mean there isn't help out there. Isabel Mascot is Tell helping Hispanic out. business owners That's in our community. Language. She's seen how hard it might be for people, especially when English isn't their first language. These are difficult questions that they are in the application. Even if you are in the financial industry, sometimes you have to stop and say, OK, what does this mean exactly? Um, so I think that the guidance is really, really important. Another issue, a business's relationship with their bank. Bigger lenders are part of the SBA loan program. Not all small businesses have their loans through those big banks. Like instead of applying for a loan and doing it that way, we tried to carry the weight of our own and now we're kind of being penalized for it. The only thing they can do now is to keep trying and keep that hope alive. And I feel like we're going to be starting back from when we first opened. So. We did it once, we'll have to do it again. There is so much information out there, it's hard to figure out where to start. Whether it's from the city or an organization, we have all of that information on our website at kxly.com. In Spokane, I'm Eleni Dow, for News Now.